Jeez, Nicholas back again today. Today we have another distribution for you to have a look at. Thank you very much. Today we have Simplicity Linux 13.7 Alpha. Yes, it is an Alpha. Come on the board about a day or two ago. I can't remember now. Yeah. It was a day or day before? Yes, I don't know. But remember, it is an Alpha. Remember, it's puppy Linux based for based on Carolina Linux, which is based on Racy Weary. Yeah, which is based on Puppy. Got lots of based on now, isn't it? Yeah, so it's using Carolina as a base. It has done for quite a while now. XFC on top, bit of a Cairo dock thing going down the bottom here as it was before. Now, there's some good points and some bad points this time around, unfortunately, and this is why I'm stressing that it is an alpha, okay? But I'll go through the good bits first and we'll come to the downs a bit later, okay? Okay, so you do get a bit of the old Cairo dock down here. Mm -hmm. Very nice, it is too. So on here we get show desktop, terminal, find Firefox as your web browser of choice. The control panel, the puppy package manager, the universal installer, because it is installed actually, it's not running from the live CD, Skype as standard, LibreOffice as standard, which is GIMP to me and you. You also get Clementine for your music player. I'll click that and you'll say, right, Snicky, you've clicked Clementine and nothing's come up. And there's a reason for that, isn't there? If we put our cursor at the top of the screen, we get a little hidden bar. And as you can see, right up here, Clementine, little orangey thing up there, is there. And there we have our little Clementine music player, which is very nice indeed, one of my faves that I use quite a lot. Yeah, rather good, don't it? Now, if you just click the X like I just did then, excuse me, it won't actually close the program. To do that, you need to right click and quit itself. While we're on the top bar, we also have up here, we have a time and date. With a little thing for laptops, really, whether you want it to go with turbo, Performance, or ordinary, or power safe, or hardware control, blah blah blah. Some will go turbo, so we're on red. If you've got wireless here, there is Frisbee to connect to your network. It's telling me how much I've got here, and it's only telling me I've got the 948 megabytes of space. That's totally wrong because it's got loads more. That's one of Dan's, by the way. I thought I'd tell you that bit. So, so here we have our volume control, it does a bit over here, and over here we have the terminal. So we have the terminal. There's terminal, nicely, nicely. We'll close terminal. Also here we have here a menu. Now there's a menu down the bottom as well. But I'll show you that in a second. Okay. So we'll go through the menu. So anyway, under favourites, obviously I've opened Clementine. Clementine comes up. Under file system we get bulk rename, part view, and Thunar for your file manager. Remember it's XFCE. You also get GIMP pictures, as I said before. G color to color chooser, photo, the pup camera digital camera access browser, take a screenshot and MT Paint. But under, in, under internet, you would expect Firefox to be here. No, it's not here. This is why I stressed it was an alpha. Okay, Skype is here as standard, which is right why the downloads are around about 420, 440 megabytes to download. But remember, you do get the full LibreOffice suite. Okay, and the multimedia, you just get your audio mixer and the network. You get IP info, Pinet hood, because it's in the hood, man. Putty and pup dog for if you've got an analog mode then. And Office, I would expect a LibreOffice here, but Office it's a bit of a separate program, okay? Yeah. You get a document viewer, Genie and Orage. And the system, cups, of course, are for your printers, really easy to do. G Parted, of course, to do stuff. Grub for DOS for your bootloader, because you're going to want to install it, aren't you? It will go to USB or hard drive, by the way, I forgot to tell you about that. We'll get some of it here. We also get LX Task Manager, so I open it up and we'll have a look and see what's going down. As you can see, it's not using hardly much, any of my memory. And CPUs, yes, yeah, okay for this one, not too bad at all. Yeah, we'll go back to that menu and we'll go back to that one in a minute. Okay. Right, okay. Also, here we do get the puppy package manager, resize, resize your save file, and SFS load program loader. Under utilities, because Flash is by default, by the way, the Flash stuff, calculator, Ginupet, just stopwatch, light sword, alarm clock, and timer. Terminal, X archiver, etc, etc, and also get run program, find, control panel and shutdown. I'll open up the control panel for you so you can have a little look. And there you go, you can do some bits and bobs here, what you want to do. So if you want to change your icons, change your icons, go to do your panel, do your panel. QT, QT config, yeah, yeah, yeah. Screen blanking settings, blah, 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 blah. It's all there for you to do. Well, I'll open up LibreOffice for you. Wait five seconds, four seconds. Oh, there we go. And there's LibreOffice, all there for you to use. We'll do what it says on Letting. We'll open up the presentation app, and that should do its business. Look at that, nice and quick. Does what it says. Rather nice, don't you think? Also, the windows are quite smooth. The last one I used was quite jerky. This is really smooth. It's nice, yeah. Right, anyway, those were the good bits, okay? 
just doing some drinking sort of there. Well, I've actually installed it to the hard drive, okay? All right. Unfortunately, it doesn't save any of my settings. Um, when I went to download stuff, I downloaded that open shop, by the way. And when I downloaded it, installed all that after quite a while, by the way. I'll show you down here where it is. Get to multimedia. Let me scroll down and we should come to open shop somewhere. Along the, there it is, open shop. I actually installed it and then restarted the machine and it had gone. Okay? It weren't there anymore. I was a bit upset about that. Let's have that a bit more for you. Yeah, I was a little bit upset about that, yeah. Because I was expecting it to stay on. But all it's doing is actually going straight to the RAM and dumping it at the RAM, which is not very good for me. Yeah. Unfortunately. And this is really unfortunate. Okay? Yeah, very, very. Also, when you reboot the machine, it asks for all your settings again, and you have to redo your screen size, do your X survey time and date again. Which is not very good. But, hey, it's only an alpha. What do you want, man? It's, it's still going down. There's obviously a little pro uh, problem in the works there that I'm sure Dave down the road will sort out eventually, when the beta comes along. But yeah, on the whole though, if you save it to a save file, it's fine. If you store it to the hard drive, it's not so fine, you know what I mean? I was a bit upset about that, yes I was. Yes. So, as it's an alpha, I'm not going to rate it, but I'm sure Dave will sort that out in the next couple of weeks before the beta comes out. Remember, it was only a, two months ago that I'd done the last Simplicity Linux. Yeah, it was. There are three versions, by the way. I don't know Firefox I'm right here. There are three versions. There's the desktop, which I'm using here, the media center, which is really nice, and a little tiny, tiny, teeny weeny one as well. Yeah. As you can see, Firefox works nice and smooth. That, that's what it says on tin, yeah. Yeah, that's what it says on tin. Oh, yeah, while I'm here, while we're here, it's what I looked at earlier. Have you seen this? No, no, really, have you seen this? The NSA is getting into all your stuff, man. Yeah, this is this, the Guardian's running one, the Independent's running one. Apparently, the NSA is going, yes, we're getting into your stuff, whether you like it or not. We're going to come to that later, a bit later, I think. I think that deserves a whole video on its own. So, yeah. But anyway, apart from that. Anyway, back to Simplicity Linux. When it decides it wants to shut down for me. See, it doesn't want to do it now, see? So. Don't want to do it. So, yes, I want it to go. Go, yeah. Do you see what I mean? Some little problems in the works here. But on the whole, it runs really nice and smooth. And I perceive this one is going to be one of the better ones that he's come out with for quite a while. Yes, quite a while. I like it though. Wait for the beta. See to make sure the problems are all done. Nicey, nicey. Sneaky Linux. Going out. I see that. Bye bye.